transmetallation. That's what this lecture is about. Let's talk about our objective here. What do we need to understand out of this lecture? Number one, only one key point here, transmetallation will occur if an organometallic reagent is added to a metal halide whose metal has an electronegativity closer to that of carbon. That sounds like a mouthful, so we definitely want to make sure we understand this. I'm going to show you via example. It's the best way to understand it. Notice, look what you have here. You got a Grignard reagent. You have two of them, two equivalents of a Grignard, and you're reacting it with CdCl2. And what we're going to get as a product here, let's look at the products first, and then let's see how this all happened. We end up with this molecule right here, and as a side product, not as important, is the two MgCl2s. We're more focused on the product on the left. And what happened here, notice, is that this Mg was once connected to a carbon, and this Cd, which was once connected to two Cl's, now we have the Cd connected to carbon, and we have the Mg connected to the Cl2s. So basically here we've swapped metals is what we're looking at. The metals are moving across or switching, hence the term transmetallation. Question is, how do we know when this will happen and why is this happening? Let's focus on that here. Basically what's happening here is, key point, I mentioned this, that the Mg in the Grignard reagent that was once connected to the carbon right here remember, is being switched out and the CD is being connected to the carbon here. What we have to understand is why or how that can happen. Well, let me prove that to you here. Let's talk about the polarity of the bond between the carbon and the Mg. And remember, learning polarity or understanding it has to do with the difference of electronegativities of the two atoms in the bond. So take my word for it. If you remember, you can actually measure or quantify the amount of electronegativity of an atom. Take my word for it. The Mg electronegativity happens to be 1.2 units. That's how electronegative it is. And the carbon electronegativity happens to be 2.5 units. Again, remember, carbon is more electronegative than Mg. Let's calculate the difference. How different are their electronegativities? Well, 2.5 minus 1.2. That's a difference of 1.3. But now let's look at the CD. That metal, he has an electronegativity. His happens to be 1.5 units. And again, remember, we're creating this new carbon to CD bond right here. Well, again, remember, the CD electronegativity is 1.5. And the carbon electronegativity, again, is 2.5. So that means the polarity of the bond here between the carbon and the CD, the difference is only 1.0, less, right? That's less than the difference between the electronegativities of Mg and carbon. And that difference in electronegativity, the one compared to the 1.3, this is evidence of why this would happen. Notice what's happening is we're creating a less polar bond. And think about that. Being less polar technically is more stable. Remember, when you think of a polar bond, you think of two opposite charges, right, plus negative, being separated from each other. Remember, charges, especially opposite charges, like to attract to each other. So the less polar you are, the more stable we can say that we are. So that's all that's happening here. Again, we're starting with a more polar bond as a reactant and ending up with a product that has a less polar bond. There is an incentive for this to happen again because less polar is lower energy and reactions love to go to higher to lower energy to more stability. So there it is. This is our key point. All we're really trying to learn here is that transmetallation will occur if an organometallic reagent is added to a metal halide whose metal has an electronegativity closer to that of carbon. And think about that. If the metal in the product is closer to that of carbon, then of course that means the difference of their electronegativities would be less. And that's all we're trying to understand here.